Mm, all right, what's up everybody? Grim Green back here today. Thank you so much for joining me again. We're gonna be jumping right into this Reload Vapor 26 millimeter RTA. This is what it looks like when it's all assembled and pretty. Oh, pretty. This is what it looks like disassembled completely. And we're just gonna be starting down here in the deck area. Proudly rocking number 53. Those are just the coils I have in there right now. They're three millimeter coils and it's a little, little, little bit of a tight fit, but not impossible. I think these coils would have benefited from being raised up just a little bit because you can see this is where your airflow is going to be coming in from the side right there. It's more or less a postless design in there. Here, let me get these coils out. Grub screws hold all of your leads in. So that's what we're working with as far as a deck. It's basically a postless design and you can get a get better look at that airflow. So those four across the top kind of go right at your coils and then there's this one down here, this is hard to see, but there's another airflow hole right here that goes up at your coils. If I put my tweezers through this, you can kind of see them coming out the other side. It goes up at your coil. But what I want to do right now is throw some new coils on this and kind of build it up as we go. I have some prototype coils, I guess, from MTurk. He made me some special coils, and these happen to be triple core 31 gauge, Clapton with 38 gauge, all twisted messes, Niachrome 80. It's a five wrap on a two and a half millimeter. I think the two and a half millimeter is gonna do much better in here than the three millimeter. I don't know, it's kind of just personal preference. Obviously, this is the positive, this is the negative, so you can kind of take your coils and just drop them straight down. Voila. A little low, we're gonna pull that up. I know a lot of people use the coily tool. I I've been trying to use it, but I've just become such an eyeball person that I just basically eyeball everything. And I know that doesn't help you learn how to eyeball things. So you should probably use a coily tool, but I'm gonna take off like this. The holes for your leads do have a pretty good depth on them, so you don't need to take much off, especially if you want to reposition them afterwards. Yeah, I like that. I'm comfortable with that. It's up in front of the airflow, two and a half millimeters, pre-fire resistance, 0 0.16. Aha, perfect. Post dry fire resistance, brought it up to a 0 0.24. You can see right here, you got a big area for wicking. As you can see, you got a lot of space for wick under there. These wicks are gonna come out down past the deck. You don't obviously wanna clog this area up with just a ton of wick, but what you want these to do is come down and kind of just touch the bottom there. It's a lot easier than you think. Kind of something like right there. Even with three millimeter coils in here, because of that big wick cup, I've never thinned out my wicks and I had no problems with it wicking on a three and a three millimeter coil. But with this two and a half millimeter coil in here, it's even using a little bit less cotton. So definitely don't thin out your wicks. I guess the point of that was I, I never thin out my wicks, so you shouldn't either unless you want to. And then, and then it's whatever. All these wicks have to do is just get set in there real, very easy. Just poking out the bottom a little bit. Just the little wicks out the bottom. Time to saturate your wicks and your coils with some liquid. We're gonna be using some uh, three milligram prickly smooth. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. If you fuck it up, you can always just do it over again. So let's assemble the rest of this tank. Here's the chimney reload vapor logo. Your airflow is going down and up the chimney because the top airflow is up here. There's a little ring right here. We're gonna unscrew and that is going to reveal airflow holes. One, two, three airflow holes. And yeah, that's your AFC. That's how you adjust it. It's not my favorite, but we'll get there when we're up top vaping it. For now, let's grab this bubble glass, snaps it on the O-rings here. It's all gonna go together fairly easily, real easily actually. Look at that. Just get it snug. And there's three fairly large kidney-shaped juice fill holes on the top, so you can just stick your bottle in there, bleh, fill it up. This RTA holds four and a half mils of liquid with the bubble glass and three and a half mils of liquid with the straight glass. And as much as I love a nice straight glass clean aesthetic, I also like four and a half mils more than I like three and a half mils. O-ring gasket here is gonna seal the top of this. This has some nice knurling on top, which I really appreciate. Those are some deeply carved notches in there. Gives you a lot of grip when you're going to unscrew this to fill it or screw it back down. And then boop, you just got an 810 drip tip right there. Matchy, matchy 810 drip tip. But now before we can vape it, we need to open up some airflow. So we're gonna need to 
unscrew this. And on a few occasions, this has happened very, very rarely to me, but on a few occasions, I've gone to open up this airflow, unscrew this top ring right here, and it ends up grabbing not these threads, but the inside threads and kind of taking the tank apart. So you have to be sure to make sure that this threading is secure, but that this threading isn't so stuck that you can't open up the airflow. Yeah. And there you go, it's fully completed. And almost every picture I see online of this RTA, the airflow is closed. And when the airflow is closed, yeah, it has that like really slick, clean aesthetic. But as soon as you open up that airflow, it just starts looking a little bit weird and wonky to me. I don't know when RTAs got so big and bulbousy. You end up kind of creating this weird gap that goes all the way around, and you have to because otherwise you couldn't vape it. Anyway, let's talk about it a little bit more. Uh, let's get back out to normal view and let's vape the damn thing. Got it right there, sitting on top of that U-Well Soul Keeper. I think it looks good on here. This is only a 25 millimeter mod. This is a 26 millimeter RTA. I don't see any overhang. Do you? If there is some there, I don't. I don't care. These M Turk coils on here are crackling like just wonderfulness. So let's talk about this airflow. This airflow has the ability to go down to, I mean, literally, actually nothing. You can close the airflow completely off. Yeah, it has the ability to go from severely, severely restricted to a little bit open of a restricted. If I go from completely closed off, completely closed off, like one, two, Still very, very smooth, just very, very restricted. If that's what you're into, you can do it on this. Oh, yeah. Or you can go the opposite way and open it all the way up and you can literally stop at every little spot in between. You can really, really fine tune your airflow on this. If you like this restricted, but like this is a little bit too restricted, just give it like, Maybe a half a turn out. Little bit more open, still real restricted. You can really dial this in. That right there is more or less fully, fully open. That is threaded down literally on, on one thread. And if I unscrew it even just a half a turn, like the whole thing would just, it would just come off. It's as open as you can get it without exposing the threads. Still quite restricted, just a little bit more open. The one thing I do really like about this airflow is it's smooth. Good Lord, it is smooth. The vape that I'm getting from it, especially with these M-Turk Aliens, real, very nice. Nice and warm, real flavorful, real satisfying. Really very much enjoying this. And like I said before, I've been putting three millimeter coils in it. I decided to downgrade or downgrade, shrink them down a little bit and put some two and a half millimeter coils in here. I feel that the airflow and the overall vape experience is greatly enhanced with a little bit smaller of a coil in there. When you put a big, big, big three millimeter coil in there, it just, it chokes off that whole chamber. It doesn't let the air flow. There's no room to dance in there. Gotta open this pit up a little bit and I really like these two and a half millimeter coils in here. Overall, honestly, there's not much that I am going to fault this RTA with. This is really difficult to say, especially considering I have my own RTA coming out in a couple of weeks, but this 26 millimeter reload, it's a banger. I have generally been a pretty big fan of everything that Reload Vapor has done. I mean, their original Reload Vapor RDA, it's one of my favorite RDAs of all time. I like the Reload S, I like the Reload X. I didn't love the mouth to lung, but eh, you can't knock them all out of the park, right? And I guess the one gripe that I do have with this is the aesthetics. I don't love the way it looks. Kind of prefer the much more slick, clean lines of like the tripod than that weird sort of real bulbousy bubble glass kind of look, I guess. And at the end of the day, I mean, that matters very little because the vape from this is baller. Like I said, it's baller. Apparently I'm saying baller now. 
very nice, very warm, very flavorful. Like I said, real nice flavor. I would even go so far as to say it, this has really good flavor. So let's get down to brass tacks. Vape budget hands, what are you thinking the cost of this RTA is? Yeah, you're right. It's about $65 everywhere I found it on the internet, which that is to say the Reload Vapor USA site is carrying it for about 65 bucks. As of right now, as of this recording, this is only a pre-order. It says they're gonna be shipping on May 15th, but we're past May 15th now and they still have that up on the website. So uh, that might be between you and Reload Vapor if you decide to go down this road. With so many great RTAs out already on the market and with uh, more on the way, <laughs> this is a strong contender. This is a top tier, top quality, well built, well put together. I mean, full 304 stainless steel. It just feels nice and durable, nice and hefty. And apart from the aesthetics and the way that the airflow ring kind of looks when it's up, I can't fault this at all. But if you're at that point where you're thinking, hey, maybe I want to try an RTA or hey, maybe I need a new RTA, I would really take a hard look at the Reload Vapor 26 millimeter. Yeah. That's what I got for today, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me again. You know, I can't put any links down in the description anymore. Thank you, YouTube. So you're gonna have to use that Google foo, but that's what I got. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, no matter what anybody tells you, no matter what Governor Cuomo tells you, absolutely, you guys, let's keep on vaping.